Hello and welcome to Lutherans Alive. My name is Gregory Held, and this is the program that brings you the story of Lutheran Christians and their ministries in southwestern Pennsylvania. With us today is Pastor Bernard Carl, pastor of St. Peter's Lutheran Church in Uniontown. Bernie, welcome. Good. Thank you, Greg. Good to be with you. Thanks Good for being be with, with us today. today. Sure. Um, Good to be here. May maybe just to give our folks a little bit of a sense of mm -hmm. um, the, the area where you serve, could you describe for us the setting of St. Peter's in Uniontown? Uniontown is, is in southwestern Pennsylvania, very close to the, the West Virginia border. Uh, we're probably 25 miles from Morgantown. Relatively rural community, uh, small townish, uh, but we have one of the highest levels of poverty in the state of Pennsylvania mm -hmm. in, in Fayette County. Uh, our, our congregation uh, did a relocation about eight years ago where we moved from a downtown area to, to more of a, of a suburb and, and built a new church. Uh, one of the interesting things about St. Peter's is that we had one time been part of the Slovak Zion Synod. Oh, okay. So I spent seven years in, in that synod. And then we built our new building. We became part of the Southwestern Pennsylvania Synod. Uh, we're, uh, we're not a large congregation. We're about 320 baptized members. Okay. Uh, worship about 100 on Sunday morning. So that will kind of give you an idea of uh, in, in, in the mountains of western Pennsylvania. And we're here today to talk about the development of a Lenten program. Yes. Um, it's called A Lenten Walk. And uh, we wanted to share a little bit of um, how, how, I mean, in most Lutheran congregations, at least Lent is a significant time on the uh, liturgical calendar, right. that time immediately before um, Palm Sunday and Easter, when we're looking toward the Holy Week and the great celebration of the church. Um, help, help maybe viewers who aren't mm -hmm. Lutheran um, understand a little bit the place of Lent in the calendar. When we look at, at Lent, Lent always begins uh, 40 days before for Easter. Uh, for us as Lutherans, Ice Wednesday is, is the day that that begins. It's always been seen as a penitential season, a time in which people prepare for, for Holy Week and, and Easter, a time in which we, we fast. Uh, in, in past, it's always been, let's give up something for, for Lent. And we do yeah. share that the, some of these traditions very much in common with um, our Episcopal and Roman Catholic yes, and um, Orthodox and um, other, other, it's not totally foreign to other Christians. Right. But um, for Lutherans, that has been a time of of um, making some changes that will help us to think about what's coming with that Holy Week and Easter time. Sure, we, we normally add worship services. Uh, a lot of congregations have midweek worship, and uh, we end up with, with that kind of, of situation with extra services and do extra things. Uh, so it, it was a time for us to take, take a look at more inside of who we are, uh, how we can share ourselves with, with, with our community and with God. Mm -hmm. And as a pastor preparing for a Lenten season, um, in addition to the general um, themes of preparation for the coming festival of Easter and such, is there um, a place in there for thinking about where we are as a congregation in a particular time in our life and how we might uh, tie that in maybe with the, whatever the theme or the preparation is going to be that particular year? Sure, and I, and I, and I think there, there is for us to, to take a look at who we are as, as people of God uh, I've done a number of different things. I'm sure you have too. In Lent, we, we try to be creative or find ways in which in which to involve people uh, in in a Lenten journey. I think it's what we mm -hmm. call it a Lenten journey or a pilgrimage from from Ash Wednesday to to Easter, mm -hmm. uh, which which is part of the idea for a Lenten walk. You know, the idea being being a journey, uh, going from point A to to point B, and, and how we get there and what we learn as as we go along. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what we, we tried to do yeah. with with this little program, uh, this little project that we, we got into. That's a common recurring theme in the Bible too, isn't it, Bernie? That oh yes. There are plenty of Old Testament uh, journeys and wanderings uh, that people underwent, and uh, certainly things to to experience and learn along the way. The disciples uh, walking through the ministry of mm -hmm. the New Testament or the Gospels uh, with Jesus and then the early church. Uh, so it's, it's something that's applicable in many different uh, generations right. in the biblical story as well as in our sure. own. Sure. Yeah, and I think most of our, a lot of our members who have that Lutheran background or that Christian background have, have been involved with, uh, with church for, for generations. 
do then understand and see that as as a time in which uh, it's it's not as I don't really want to use the word joyous, but maybe that's that's the best word I can come up with. Mm -hmm. That we are we we our hymns, our liturgy, and everything else becomes a little less uh, exuberant, let's so mm -hmm. to so to speak. And, mm -hmm. And you were saying that with this particular um, theme, the, the Lenten walk, mm -hmm. um, you actually had the inspiration or, or found a basis for it uh, from another synod. My wife, who works for the ELCA as a regional gift planner, has she deals with other synods in, in our region, and one is Northwest Penn Synod, uh, north of us. And they had some ideas about doing a, a Lenten walk or had talked about that because in that sense, if one, what I understand, that they are very much involved with the, the health and welfare of their pastors and mm. trying to make sure their pastors uh, walk are in good health. And, and so that it's, a big, uh, uh, it, it's, it's a big issue for, for them up there. Strong emphasis for them. Very much yeah. a strong emphasis. In, in fact, because we had uh, borrowed so to speak, their, their idea mm -hmm. uh, to, to do this. Uh, the bishop up there, Bishop Ralph Jones and his wife Sandra, had, uh, had an intention of coming down to finish the walk with us. Oh, okay. Uh, it didn't work out, but because at the end of the walk, we were doing something kind of special mm -hmm. uh, to, to end it with our, with our membership. Mm -hmm. So, but they, they were not able to, to do that, but that was one of the ideas that they, that they had. We said, well, since we borrowed your idea, mm -hmm. you know, and we, we kept them informed and uh, to do that. It is a very important connection, though, as you mentioned it, that um, not, not only is it a story that we hear or read in Scripture, but it has a personal application in our lives that uh, something that can both mm -hmm. spiritually and physically um, make a difference, uh, right. help us to improve our, our overall health and wholeness. It's an educational component. It's a health component, it's a spiritual component, all those became part of what we were trying to do, intending to do. How much uh, prep work actually went into this for you then? Was it a matter of actually creating materials? When I went into the, the prep work, one of the, the ideas was, will, will the membership buy into to what it is we're doing? Uh, so, so one of the first things we did was ask our membership to to sign up for for a, a Lenten a Lenten time and mm -hmm. and make make that that commitment. Uh, we ended up with approximately forty five individuals mm -hmm. who had signed the the commitment chart, mm -hmm. and uh, in fact we also had people from other congregations that were in our synod but not part of our part of our membership that had said, hey, can I be involved too? And every so often they check in with us by, mark my list, I did this today, I did this today, mm -hmm. and, and so forth. So Very good. Well, we are at the point where we need to take our first break for the day. When we come back, let's um, get into some, of the, some more of the specifics sure. of how you introduced mm -hmm. this sort of a program and how yeah. it worked out at St. Peter's. We'll do. We'll be right back.